Hi, Mr. Unkert here. In this video, we're going to record a video on Screencast-O-Matic and then edit it on OpenShot Video Editor. This video assumes that you've already downloaded Screencast-O-Matic and have installed the icon on your desktop and have also installed OpenShot Video Editor. Okay, so to start, I'm going to go to Screencast-O-Matic and click on this icon. It'll bring me to this page and I'll click on Launch Free Recorder. You'll see here the message, the recorder will record anything that happens in this frame. I can choose screen, webcam, or both. Okay. We can then select which webcam to use. We only have one on this computer, so we're just going to use that one. Okay, to start recording, I'm going to click record, and it's going to give me a countdown. When it says go, it is now recording. Okay, I can open a new tab, let's just do that again, and go to a website that I want to record or some other presentation that I want to record. For math, I like to use Draw Island, and there we go. Okay, so now I go to Draw Island. Perhaps for math, I might draw a triangle and have a lesson on triangles. Okay, you also might go to your Google Drive and present a slides presentation. Actually, I'm not signed in on that browser. I'm signed in on this one. So let's go to Google. Let's go to my drive. And perhaps I have some slide presentation that I've previously created. This one's new, but I could do something and have something like that as a presentation. So you go up to 15 minutes making this video, and then when you're done recording, hit pause, click done. We want to save the file. And I'm going to click save video as. Okay. I'm going to change the file name to sample screen cast o -matic. whatever you want to name it. I'm going to pick the folder by browsing. Maybe I'll look in my documents and I'll pick this folder. Click OK. Then I can publish it. And it will take a, a few moments to publish. I can click Done once I'm published. Let's close out this window. OK. And then from there, I'm going to go and open OpenShot. Scroll down to track one here. I'm going to go into my documents and find that video. Remember where you put it. Okay. I called it sample screencast o -Matic. I'm going to drag it out over here and close this out. I like to put it on my desktop and then I can just drag it right into here. Okay, and I might clip out some few portions. I'm going to hit play to review it. Uh, 
I'll select some portions that I want to crop. I can use the scissors here to splice the video. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to click on the scissors again and then highlight this part that I want to crop out. And with uh, my fingers on the keypad, I would touch it with two fingers or right click. I'm going to remove the clip. Okay. And then maybe later on, I wanted to cut out the end portion. I could again hit the scissors, cut it, hit the scissors again to turn them off, select the portion that I want to delete, right click, which on a mouse pad is two fingers, or yeah, uh, remove the clip. And then um, I can also add in some titles. Let's say I could say my sample video on screen. Castomatic. I can select the text color. Maybe I want that color. I can go around and just move it around, test out these different colors. Let's go back here. I'm going to select that. And then I'll do a background color. Something like that. That looks pretty bad. So I'm going to go back, select something. Still somewhat bad, but okay. I can save my title. I can drag it down here. I can create a transition. So now I'll bring this up in time and you can watch the transition. Okay, so it transitions nicely. I like that. I can also add some music. A way to add music is to go open up your browser and search YouTube audio library. Okay, then you're going to have the YouTube audio library. I like to go up to the right here and use the audio library classic. I'm gonna click on that. And the reason why I like that is you can click on a song and it will tell you a message whether you're free to use it or not. Most are free. We can pick a genre, a mood, instrument, duration, and if we need to give attribution, that usually is here as well. I'm gonna pick dance and electronic. Let's try out this song. No. Let's try out this song. No. Let's try out this song. Yes. I'm going to download this song because it's free to use. And once it's downloaded, I'll click show in folder. I'm going to move it to my desktop. I'm going to open back up OpenShot. And I'm going to put it in, drag it into track two to the start. And I, my personal preference is to just have it run during the title. You can do whatever you want with it. So as the title finishes right at the end of the transition zone, I'm going to use the scissors and cut the track. And then I'm going to click the scissors again to turn them off. I'm going to click on this part. It's going to highlight in red. I then, with two fingers, or right click, remove the clip. Okay. Now again, I'm going to right click on this clip, go to volume, 
My personal preference is to have it fade out at the end of the clip. So I can go down to end of clip, hover over fade out slow and click that. Now let's preview. Okay, seems to work. Now, when I'm all sure that I have my video set up the way I want it to, I am going to go down under File to Export Project, hover over that, and then I'm going to export the video. I want to choose a folder path to export it to. I can click Browse to find that and go to Documents. I have a folder that I've created already called Open Shot Videos. Um, let's create a new folder called Samples. I'm going to click on there. I'm going to select the folder. I'm going to name it Sample Screencast O Matic Video. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to pick web as my format. Instead, then the default will initially come up as Flickr. I want to scroll down to YouTube HD. I'm going to begin exporting the video. This could take a few moments or a few minutes. The longer the video, the longer it will take. You may want to go do something else at this point. I'm going to enjoy my full throttle. Okay, we're above 50%. Almost there. And we are done. Sometimes when it gets to 100% it says not responding and you just wait a minute and it finishes. I'm going to click done. You can also save your project and if you're unsure about how your final project is going to come out you may want to do that so you can go back to it and make a few tweaks. This is a sample video I'm not going to post so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to close this. Say no to saving my project. Okay, now I want to upload to YouTube. I'm going to open a browser and I need to make sure I'm logged in with the account that I want to use to upload it to YouTube. I'm going to do it on my teacher account so I've logged into a browser that has my teacher Gmail logged onto it. I'm going to click the Google Apps which is this waffle or square icons up in the corner here. Click on YouTube. Going to click on this plus button in this camera. So I'm going to create and I'm going to upload the video. So click on that. I want to select the file that I'm going to upload. I'm going to go to my documents. I had it as open shot videos, samples, screencast o -matic video. It's going to upload. I can type a description. This video is something that shows you how to draw a triangle, I guess. Okay. I have the option to create a new playlist or select an existing playlist. I already created sample videos, so I'm going to select that. And click done. I can go on down and select if it's made for kids or not. If you're a teacher, you're probably going to want to pick yes, it's made for kids. This one isn't. It's just a tutorial, so I'm going to say no. I'm going to click next. 
and next again. Then I can list it as private, unlisted, or public. If you're a teacher, you probably want to pick unlisted and share the link with your students. If you are just a regular person on YouTube, you can pick public or private. I'm going to pick unlisted. I'm going to click save. Since it uploaded and processed already, I have the link and I could share that in the Google Classroom if I'm a teacher or with my friends if I'm not. If it's a larger video, it will take longer to upload and process, so you may have to wait a moment at this step. I'm not going to do anything with it now. I'm just going to click close. And I'm going to conclude this video. If you have any questions on how to do any of these steps, please leave comments in the comments below. And as always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe as it really helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching and have a great day.